All right, guys. I'm over here by the quail. I was just cleaning out the cages, kind of picking up, and uh, but I, I did a little study on something I want to share with you guys. But I have, but I wanted to share with you guys um, now uh, because I've raised chickens and I raised quail, and I had a video, and you can go back a few, uh, just scroll through the videos, and you can see I'm holding up. Uh, well, actually, I'm holding up two quail eggs. Um, uh, but um, and, but the, the video is about is about uh, excuse me oh, the nutritional value of the quail egg versus the chicken egg and, okay so I got to thinking well what about the quail meat versus chicken meat okay and so I, I did, a, did a little study and that's what I want to share but before I get into that I just want to bring out some of the main things for you guys you know uh, first of all uh, in the city and let's say let's say you, let's say you, you're kind of reluctant to having chickens okay because uh, chickens they're a nice, nice size bird um, they they cluck a lot they make noise you need a nice size uh, you need a nice size cage and that noise you just heard that was about the most that you hear out of a quail and they all don't do that that's a male doing that the females make a very little small small noise that you got to be up on the cage to hear them making the noise they're not loud at all that was a mating call I believe that's a mating call from the quail from the male quail okay what you just heard but uh, now your, your chickens um, need more space so let's say Let's say you want to get a dozen chickens. Well, a dozen chickens, you're going to need a coop that's going to probably take up an area, let's say, at least the smallest that you would might want to put that in, where they can have a little run, they can run around and have their brooding boxes to lay in, might be, I don't know, I, don't, I really don't know, because mine, I have uh, 16 by 10. It's my cage. My coop okay it's 16 feet by 10 feet now I know probably half of that let's say an 8 by 10 or an 8 by 8 it's still it's still nice size uh, coop you know, you know if you want to raise chickens it's it's a, a big coop that you got to get the birds are bigger um, so uh, they eat more food so in the long run it costs you more even though with the the quail you might spend a little more on the feed and get a better feed you're still in the long run spending less in feed because quail eat a whole lot less because it's a little bitty bird this big versus you know a chicken okay it's you know so um, all right, so that, so then your cages cost less. So your food costs less. Your chick, your, your cages cost less. It takes up a whole lot less space in your yard, and you can do quail. Let's say if you have a garage area that you really you don't park in, you use it for other things, and it's let's say it's disconnected from your house and it's in the backyard. That's how mine is. When I first moved here, um, I didn't have quail, but I used to raise cockatiels. And we used to sell them to uh, a pet store out here. And so uh, I had the cages set up in, in my garage. It was a single car garage, disconnected from, from the house. It was only eight feet by 16 feet. That's all it was. And uh, you could get a car in it, but it was, it was tight. It was tight. And I only had know that because I had put a small car in it. Uh, I did some work uh, on my daughter's car. She got gotten a wreck, and all she had was liability insurance. And I rebuilt her car, redid her car for her, and got her car running, painted and everything in this little small area. Um, um, but I never ever parked any of my vehicles in there. I never, I just worked on that car in there. 
and I and I use that area for raising quail. Okay. Now, all right. So, um, so you can raise not quail, cockatiel, but you can raise quail indoors in a in a place like that. Okay. So I'm just I'm just saying, when it comes to taking up space, quail is going to take up a whole lot less space. Okay. All right. So, so now we have taking up less space. Your cages are smaller, so therefore it's going to cost less for your cages. They are smaller birds, so they're going to eat a lot less than a chicken. So therefore, you're going to be spending less on feed. Okay. Um, what else could I say about them? And then, they're uh, nutrition-wise, and that's what I want to talk about today. Now. You can go back and look at the video about my quail eggs versus chicken eggs. And quail eggs are actually more nutritional than chicken eggs. Um, and so what we need, we need to realize, and I've got some things written down here. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start off with this, uh, that, you know, that quail uh, is one of the, uh, let's see, uh, it's, one of, it's the, one of the world's wonder food. See, I never knew that. I never knew much about quail my whole life, just until in the last year, um, kind of finding out about it. I, and I got written down here, in Asian civilizations, forming quail is more popular than forming chickens. It's just here in the western uh, part of the world where we live, where chickens have become more popular than quail, okay? Uh, now, there's many people that go hunt quail um, today. Um, and there's still a lot of people that raise quail, but it's not as popular as raising chickens. So, like when you you go on YouTube and you you see these homesteads with the land, I mean they're getting chickens, and and the chickens, you well, if you got acreage, you want chickens because they they're gonna scratch up the ground, they're gonna eat bugs, all that kind of stuff, and they're good. They have their purpose. So I'm uh, I want to talk about. The nutritional value but at the same time uh, I guess I'm, I'm speaking more to the backyard homesteader okay somebody who you're living in a city you have limited space uh, you want to do homesteading um, but really you, you, you're kind of in a stuck position you don't really have the finances to move you don't want to sell your house because maybe you got two mortgages on it. Maybe you're upside down. Maybe you did the last mortgage you did. You still you don't have enough money in your mortgage to sell and go get something else because that's where uh, I, I've been there and I am there. Um, and there's uh, a lot of things that uh, that are stopping me financially right now where I can't just sell my house and move and go go get me something else. Okay. Now things are changing for for us, and uh, it, things are coming uh, our way. Some finances are coming our way, and um, uh, but for those of you who are uh, stuck, and, and maybe maybe you don't want to move to the country and don't want to get a bunch of land, but you you want to do something with your city backyard, you can. Okay, I encourage you to start doing stuff, stuff now. Start growing gardens and all. The animal that you could raise instead of chickens would be quail. They're going to take up how much, a lot less more space for you. And and even when it comes to butchering a quail versus chickens, I've done I've done both. I could I could I could butcher a meal for us out of, of the quail. Let's say I got three of us in my family, me, my, my wife, myself, and my, my youngest daughter, Kara. And if I, if I uh, uh, process uh, two quail each, six quails, I could process six quails probably faster or about the same amount of time. I think it's faster, actually, than, than processing a chicken. I think I could process six quail faster than I can t get the feathers off of a chicken. I, I, I'm pretty sure I can. It goes real fast. It's real quick. I also have video on that. I'm processing quail. 
you can go looking through my videos and maybe look at that uh, it's real real quick real easy real simple okay so let me let me let me let me kind of give you some of the uh, some stuff I wrote down here about quail meat quail meat uh, well when it comes to protein and fat it's very similar to chicken meat okay but quail meat has four times more vitamin C now vitamin C is for our immune system it's got four times the amount of vitamin C than a chicken meat ain't that something a quail meat has over three times more iron than chicken meat and incredibly four times more iron than beef like a beef sirloin <laughs> I'm still gonna continue to eat beef and I'm still gonna continue to eat chicken okay alright quail meat has vitamin A whereas chicken meat has none alright so so far so far with the chicken meat and the quail meat uh, we have something that we could process a lot quicker uh, it, it, very similar in the protein and the fat but it has more vitamin C and it has more three times more iron uh, than chicken and four times more iron than beef okay and it has vitamin A whereas chicken meat doesn't have any okay also quail meat is higher in minerals and amino acids than chicken meat okay alright so so what does that mean what does that really mean okay this is what it means listen to this now for them to, to get what I just read um, and there's, believe me, there's more, there's more nutritional value than this. I just kind of picked out the main, some of the main stuff, uh, um, because there's a lot of information. You can go, go research this yourself to get a complete, uh, food rating. And this is what nutritionists do. They, they gather all the data they can get about all the, uh, all the, uh, they collect about all the, all the uh, vitamins, the minerals, the amino acids, the fats. And other nutritional facts. They gather all the facts, put it in the data, and and they they spit this out. They spit this information out. Okay, so 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 quail is actually considered a complete food. Okay, which means this. It means that it's it's much better than most meats, including beef. This is quail meat, and it's it's a higher. Uh, and this higher rating means. This is what it means for us, you guys, listen. That our bodies will require less of it to feel full and needs less of quail meat for our daily nutritional requirements. So, if we eat less calories to receive the same nutritional outcome, okay, this means less calories and feeling full faster converts pounds loss on a scale so they saying that you can actually experience weight loss on a quail diet ain't that amazing okay and uh, and then I'm gonna read some one other thing I got here um, quail I'm gonna tell you now this is incredible because it is a fast-growing bird you know, in six weeks, they're laying eggs. In six weeks, they're considered an adult, and you can begin to breed them. Chickens take four to five months. And then you need a rooster that makes all this noise. Now, you need, you need a male uh, uh, quail, but what you heard a little while ago, that sound he made, that's about all you get out of them. And they don't sit there and do this for hours and hours. When I had... When I had the rooster back there, he was crowing all day long. He would start about, actually, he would start at 4:45 every morning. I would hear, hear him. That would kind of be my alarm. It would wake me up. I'd hear him, and um, and then the whole time I'm thinking, man, I hope he's not waking up the neighbors. And um, but the quail don't don't do that. They don't make a bunch of noise. But anyway, you would have to have a, a rooster that makes all this noise. Uh, then and then. Uh, then you have to deal with the rooster. So if you're not, if you haven't handled your rooster and kind of tamed him to be nice to you, he won't be 
nice to you. <laughs> Most people have problems with roosters coming at them, uh, spurring them, and all that kind of stuff, okay? So you have to handle them. Uh, the, the quail, you don't have to handle them at all. So they grow faster. So within six weeks, six to eight weeks, you can start getting eggs. And you can get eggs to uh, either start incubating eggs to make more chicks, if you're going to start uh, eating quail for your diet, or you could just save the eggs, put them in the fridge, and you can have eggs just like you have chicken eggs to eat with your breakfast, F fried eggs, or use the eggs uh, in uh, anything, in any kind of cooking where you need eggs, uh, you can use quail eggs. Um, you might have to use more of them, but in reality, I find you get more quail eggs than you get chicken eggs. The chickens don't lay an egg every day, and the quail lay an egg every day unless something happens and they get spooked or something changes in their atmosphere. You know, like one time I, I took a female out of one cage and I put her in another cage. Well, both of those cages had an atmosphere change, and both of those cages slacked up in laying eggs for about three or four days. And, after, and then after that, it started getting back to normal, you know. Uh, chickens sometimes, um, they won't lay. They, you know, let's say out of a week, a chicken might lay five days out of seven. And sometimes four days out of seven. Uh, now, there's a certain time of the year during the summer, they, they lay pretty regular, you know. And they might do five or six days a week. So, if you got a dozen chickens, it's very rare that you're going to get 12 eggs a day. You get close. You get nine or ten a day. More, when I had 12, my, my good day, days, I would get nine. But sometimes it would be as low as seven. Now, I have 14 hens right now. And I haven't gotten 14 eggs a day yet. And they, they, they've they been laying now for a month, and they laying. And I know I had one egg this morning that was actually smaller. So one of one of the Buff Orphingtons, that was her first egg. She just started laying. And uh, I, got these, I got these chickens way back in March. And they're just now beginning to lay eggs, okay? Uh, I, I got the quail in November. And in January, I was having so many eggs... Um, it was crazy, and it's still crazy. I got, I got a lot of, a lot of quail eggs. I got quail eggs in the incubator. I got quail eggs in here, in the, in the uh, refrigerator out here. I got quail eggs inside that are pickled in jars that I sell those. So I get a lot of pick. I got, I get a lot of quail eggs. Okay. So, so they, they, uh, they reproduce a lot quicker than chickens. Uh, so. Uh, so I'm bringing all this out because overall, raising quail is a lot less expensive than it is to raise chickens. They consume less food, they take up less space, they reproduce quicker, uh, um, and, they, and they produce at a, a way earlier age. Uh, six weeks, uh, a quail is, breed, is a breeding adult versus a chicken, which takes four to five months. Okay, so um, I'm bringing all that up. I, I want you to get a, an understanding about quail versus chickens and I'm not no way downing uh, raising chickens I, I'm gonna I'm gonna raise chickens and I will continue to raise chickens I will probably eat a, a, a lot of chicken eggs for breakfast and all and quail eggs I'm gonna do both okay um, I'm not going to get rid of the chickens at all. I want to still raise them. Okay, I, I enjoy the chickens. I like having them. So, but I'm talking about somebody. If you don't have any birds, you just new at this, and you just starting off. Maybe uh, you don't want to sell out your whole backyard. Like I have my whole backyard garden and my whole front yard, just about. I'm selling out to this because I want it to. I want to uh, provide as much as of my own food for my family that I that I can. 
you know, I'm in control of this. I'm not allowing Walmart to be in control of what we eat, uh, how good we eat, as far as nutrition-wise, um, you know, and uh, and they, you know, uh, and then when you, you, we have these hard times like we did in the beginning of the year, okay, all, all of a sudden now you're limited to how much you can purchase. You see, when you when you when you're more self-sustained, self-sufficient, um, that's that's the that's my goal. That's where I'm headed. Now, um, we still have to go to Walmart. We still have to buy a lot of stuff, you guys. It ain't like I'm, yeah, I'm growing a lot of stuff, but we still have to buy a lot of stuff. But we're eating better. I'm, I'm getting where uh, when it, all this stuff that I'm growing here, we don't have to buy. You know, other things you have to buy. Uh, your grains like rice, things like that, uh, any kind of flour. But we're, we're, we're getting away from a lot of that stuff anyway. You know, all that, the carbs and all that, we're, we're getting away from all that. And um, and eating more uh, fish, chicken, quail, and salads, and we're happy with that. Uh, occasionally, we we buy some grass-fed uh, beef, and we eat some grass-fed beef. We're not against eating beef. I'm not against eating chickens or quails. Uh, I'm just kind of giving you some information here. This could help some somebody who uh, you want to get started with some of this. You really would like to get chickens, but man, you're kind of like hesitant about it. Maybe quail is the way to go. And maybe some of you guys that have chickens like I do, maybe you might want to incorporate quail now, too. Now that you're finding out a little bit about quail, um, it, it's really really simple and easy now you, you do have to you know change their bedding and so there's a little expense with that but I think overall over overall your expense is less raising quail than it is chickens and um, I could buy I could buy a bag of feed for the quail and I got what I got I, I don't I don't know how many quail I have right now Six, uh, six times four is twenty-four. And I got a, I got about thirty quail right now, and it, it it costs a whole lot less more to feed them. A bag of feed lasts more than a month, where for the chickens, I'm buying two to three bags a month with the chickens. I have, I got fourteen egg layers, and right now I have five meat chickens left and uh, and that's what it's costing me about three bags of feed a month to take the feed out so um, so overall it's less expensive to raise quail so I want to give you that information you guys because uh, you know we here in the western world um, you know, we we kind of get sheltered in some of our knowledge uh, on how other cultures survive, the kind of foods they eat, and believe me, most most people eat quail. And you know, another thing, this I'm not going to get into this though, but you know, goat meat is the number one biggest selling meat in the whole world. Now you would never know that. Unless you research it, because living in America, you you, you know, hardly very, very uh, rarely hear about that. Especially if you uh, are born and raised here. Now, the people that come from other countries here, they already know that, because where they lived, they were eating goat. So, um, all right. So, it's it's good for us to learn about other cultures and what they're eating. Uh, you know, why why uh, in other cultures, people are less sick. Uh, yeah, you might have uh, other things going on, like famine-wise. Yeah, because the people have a lack of money, and they're not dying because of nutrition. They're dying because they don't have the money to eat. Um, but uh, nutrition, nutritional-wise, they have uh, quail, goats. They have uh, good nutritional food there. 
Uh, they might be lacking on things to grow in the ground, but you and I in America were blessed. You you have access to growing food and raising animals and providing for your family in, in such a way. So, hey guys, just wanted to kind of give you that information on quail meat versus chicken meat. And uh, you guys be blessed. I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a good day.